And yesterday they were calling on state lawmakers to do something about the heat in Texas prisons that are not air conditioned and they did so with a demonstration. Go ahead and check out the video here of a mock jail cell that was set up at the rally at the state capitol yesterday. Now the temperature in Austin hit 106 and it was as hot or hotter inside the cell. People who have or had loved ones in the Texas prison system sat inside the cell to make a statement and also to get a feel for what their friends and family members deal with every day during the summer. Savannah Eldridge is the founder and executive director of Be Frank for Justice, and she named it that because of her brother, Frank, who's serving a life sentence in a Texas prison right now. She and her group brought a list of demands to Austin with them, most of them calling for air conditioning in all Texas prisons, something Eldridge says 70% of prisons do not have right now. When our AC goes out, there are other places to go. That's not so for inmates. People in the community that do not have AC, they have options for respite, whether it's at a family member's home, you know, there's cooling centers in the community. Uh, the people who are incarcerated are vulnerable um, to the kindness of the people, the those that are overseeing them. People who are overseeing inmates, the guards and whatnot, they're exposed to the heat inside sweltering Texas prisons as well. Be Frank for Justice is calling for air conditioning on their behalf as well. Now, of course, there is the question, should Texas spend all that money to put air conditioning into prisons when the people who live in the prisons broke the law, did something wrong in our community? I had asked Savannah about that. Keep in mind, her brother is serving a life sentence in a Texas prison right now. She said inmates, after all, are people too. And while most of them aren't serving life or death sentences, it is the duty of the state to take care of them while they are locked up.